back <laughs> back. I almost fell down and <laughs> broke my head. We're good. We're good. And we're so, sweating. You know, we are sweating. It's hot in here. It's humid. Humid. My nipples are sweating. Whew. Whew. We haven't had that in a while. I need some... <laughs> the pat down. The pat down. I need some... The, the undershirt pat down. That's what yeah. I could use I need right a now. fan that just blows and makes my shirt like out to here, but yeah, it feels so good. Yeah. Just rippling. Rippling in the way. I think the rippling. Ripple effect. The ripple effect. Yes. That's what we're Hey again, folk! Welcome back to Keeping It Neat. I am Derek, Executive Bourbon Steward. I'm Nick, Certified Bartender. And we are back because we don't know what we're drinking because it's in a little glass and it has an eye on it. Comes from Hybrid because the bourbon babe wasn't available to put everything down for us. So she pre-poured and it's like it's virtual but not because we're here in the studio. Mm -hmm. So we don't know what we're drinking. Don't know what's in the chug jug. It's only notes. Not going to be a bottle because we didn't get that either. We just have notes. Yes. So sadly. But you know what else you can do? Subscribe! Well, subscribe! <laughs> Hit the notification button, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and join our Facebook group where we talk about all things whiskey all the time. But other than that, <sighs> Nick, you got anything? No, you took all the breath out of All right, well, let's pour our drinks out from our little sample bottles. Go, go, go. Ooh, there it is. I think that might actually be an equal pour. Let's see. Uh, uh, that's light for you. Wow, I'm impressed. I drank a lot in the last uh, one. Sir, are you ready to whiskey? <laughs> ready and able. All right, let's get into it. You should have seen the episode where I hosted. Ooh. Yikes. <laughs> Ooh. The lead anchor. Another peaty one, a little bit. Light peat. Um, but it's prominent. Like, it's there, you know what I mean? Well, it is, it is, but it's not. It's like, it's the yeah. peatiness, not the smokiness you get. True. You can fight through it. You can't. Well, it's, I don't know if you're fighting. <laughs> Watch out. Got spicy guacamole. <laughs> Gosh. I can't get by it. The can nose? You? Yeah, yeah I, I can't get by the peatiness. The peatiness in there. <coughs> oh no, <laughs> that could be a problem. There is a fruit note in there too. It's it's prominent. Oh gosh. Okay. Banana bread. Oh, banana bread. Yeah. So yeastiness. Yeah, a yeastiness to it. There is some flour, Better not not check. the floral, more to the breadiness. Um, oh, yeah, because we had that discrepancy. Yes. Hmm. I'm getting it. I'm getting those tea leaves. Okay. I can see the tea leaf on there. That was the tea leaf. Mm. It's I mean, almost like not herbal mint. It like it might be mint, but it's like it's those herbal, fla like uh, not flowers, but yeah, it's like mint and not yeah, basil, like the herbs, but, you know, like, yeah, yeah, the herbs, herbs, herbs yeah. itself, yes. Um, I can see that tea, but like greenish tea, maybe like a green tea. Ironic for our shirt. Yeah, ironic, very. All right, let's All right. Just, go, taste go, it. just taste it. Yeah. Give it a. Ooh, green tea right on the tongue. That tastes like a green tea shot. James yeah. and peach tree. I'm gonna go peach. Okay. Green tea. I can see the peach. I can honey. See a little honey. Citrus. Vanilla. Maybe some citrus in there. Citrus. Vanilla. Yeah. Wow. You crushed all those. Holy done. Money. Wow. Done. Bye, guys. We're out. <laughs> Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> mm, that's delicious. Uh, well, the peat is still there. You, I, It's not as prominent as on the nose. It, it's a subtle peat in there, but I'm not getting like that heavy smokiness. It's a subtle in the background, um, but it's like that. It's got the honey. The floral, the fruit note in there going on, mm. um, a tropicalish tone kind of going there, melony maybe. Yep. Um, yeah. A light spice of some sort, yep. baking. I, I can't discern what it is. I actually, I don't think it's very light at all. I think that baking spice is pretty prominent for me at least in the palate. Um, Throw some water, see if that's gonna open up maybe some of those notes for us. Ooh. It did lighten the nose. Yeah, it, it brought up more of the fruity tones. Hmm. Grassy notes. Yes. Yeah. A light grass. Yeah. Like if I was grazing. Yes, like you like to do sometimes. 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 No. Yes. <laughs> it it has a honey note to it. There's there's like a honey going on. It has a super sweet like fruity note in there. Yeah. I think you were onto something earlier with the melon and stuff too, though. Okay. Like more honeysuckle. 
Okay. Maybe. The, the tropicaliness yeah. going on. Like, well, not that honeysuckle is tropical, no, but I think but... it's a, like a tropical fruit. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to say, like, mango papaya-ish mm. kind of. Yes. That kind of Dragon a Dragon fruit. Ooh, wow. Look at you. Start naming tropical fruits. <laughs> as if if the dragon fruit is in the description, I will be so excited. <laughs> Me too. Because I've never had dragon fruit and don't know what it's like. And I might have to quit the show. <laughs> I'm dragon fruit, the, yes. <laughs> it's so good. It's lovely. It really is. All right. Let's write down now what we think it might be. All right. <laughs> Let's try to write down. Let's try to write down what we think this whiskey is. Ooh, hint, 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 hint. It's a whiskey. Put our scores down now. What we what we like or think it is. You gonna go first? No. You, no. All right. I'm gonna go first. We're gonna go one, two, tray, and a half on this one. Okay. Three and a half. I'm gonna go one, two, and this is not a dig at it, but I am only gonna go a two and a half. Um, I like it, but um, I'm not in love with it, and I think maybe I would enjoy it more as we keep diving into it. Uh, but for right now, with where I'm at, I'm I'm okay with it. So I feel like going right down the middle is fair. Mm-hmm. Because I don't want to give it a bad grade. I don't want to give it a good grade. I want to revisit it. Yeah. So. All right. Uh, all right. So let's show what we got. Okay. What do you got, buddy? I said, I think it's Japanese. All right. Uh, I'm going 43%. I thought it was up there a little bit. And H2O. I'm pretty open to what it could be because I this one kind of <laughs> stumped me, to be honest with you. So. Yeah. I, you know, I mean, now that you say Japanese, I could see it going that direction. I really could. Um, because Only because what... The Japanese do, and if it's a blend, they sometimes they do source their whiskey from Scotland. So um, I went with a Scotch, forty percent, and I was like eh, maybe forty two. So I'm in that forty percent range, okay. um, the low forties. H two O definitely, I think, opened it up. It helped it out a lot. It, sh- it you know it showed some of the um, more of the subtleties in there. Um, but let's see what we got. Yeah, we'll go I said H two O as well. I think yeah. it opened up. It, it it totally opened a florally note in there, which made me lean towards the Japanese way. Um, but we'll see. We will see. All right. We actually haven't even caught on to our theme yet. No, it's just a hybrid theme. So I'm going to do this again, see what happens. I really was hoping that uh, you threw it's... the wrong thing. <laughs> I was hoping it was the left, like the info. All right. So is it Japanese? Is it Scotch? It is Glen Levitt Caribbean Reserve, sir. I'm embarrassed. Your favorite, I believe. It is what it is. My favorite. This model. is a space side single malt whiskey, eighty proof. We have to redo this episode. <laughs> like completely redo this. Forty percent alcohol, no age statement, hundred percent malted barley. Glenn Levin it. Uh, Glenn Levin it. Glenn Levitt and the parent company is Pernod Ricard. Um, to create the whiskey with tropical feel, our makers finished a portion of our smooth whiskey in barrels that previously held Caribbean rum. The result is a well balanced and exceptionally smooth whiskey, single malt. Meet summer. Mm. Um, the, the thing too is doing whiskeys blind is totally different than being able to see what you're drinking. That is the whole premise of our show, and that's why this makes it so unique. When you try something, you say you think is awesome, and then when you try it blind, you're like, it's only okay. Yeah, because I gave this normally. If you were to ask me outside of the show, I'd give you a four out of five on a chug jug scale. This is one of my favorite bottles. But the problem with doing it blind is. I was getting a lot more smoky notes on this than normal, and that threw me for a loop. That's why I did not recognize this whatsoever. Um, All the notes will be down in the description down below, too. I'm going to skip over what a single malt scotch is. All right, covering the price so I don't see. The appearance, there's nothing down there, but it's, it's got like a golden, dark golden color to it. Sweet notes of pear and red apple meet a fabulous tropical twist of ripe bananas. I said banana. It is banana. But you made it. Perverted. Um, in syrup. Bananas in syrup. Huh. It, interesting. I guess, yeah. you know, that's like banana, bananas foster. Is that what yeah. that's called? Ooh. Wow. One for you folks. Um, <laughs> the palette is a rich caramel toffee notes 
followed by flavors of tropical fruit. We, I was it's saying that tropical. Melon, it's, it's the that, melon. It's yeah. all that. It could be dragon fruit. We don't know. We tropical don't know. fruits, folks. We don't. Papaya. All that stuff just fresh off the tree. Off. There it is. Oh. <laughs> the finish is well balanced and exceptionally smooth. Bold, smooth, and tropical. Yeah. Boy, they, they're pushing the tropical notes on this one. Well, it makes sense. Yeah. What do you think the price is? Uh, this bottle's uh, $38.99. $38.99. Oh, yeah, I would have to agree with you. I think it's going to be like $38, maybe, I'm going to say $40. $39.99. Yeah, mostly. Thirty nine ninety nine exactly. That's I was so you say, are right. It's yeah. right in that range. Yeah. Just the, you know, I buy this so, often, so yeah, I was so, like, I'm not getting this. Um, right. All the notes are from the Glenn Levitt site and Wikipedia. Well, I'm going to give you a chance here, sir, to change your score. Yeah, I mean, and now knowing what you're drinking, yeah, drinking versus what you did blind. <laughs> um, going from your sweet to and a something. I would probably revisit this and give it a 3.75. Well, I'm going to stick with my score of a 3.5. I think it was good. I liked where it was. I, I thought it was a nice scotch yeah. for, what it, for you know what it came out with. Um, very easy drinking. Very smooth. It was delicious. And a lot of those tropical flavors are in there. Yeah. But other than that, my friend, I think that's it. So other than that, subscribe. Yeah, just subscribe to us. That's all we want. We, that's all we, we want. We want the fan, the fanfare. We want the parades. I'm that's what we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, subscribe if you haven't yet. No, Make sure to I tell your friends. And he wants a parade. So please, if you can throw a parade for Derek, just please do. Please. please. <laughs> um, and we also, please join our Facebook group. We're sharing all the time with our kinfolk, sharing all different types of bottles, where you can find them, locally, nationally. We're all over the place, right? Nationally. I, yeah. Have we, have we done one of You don't need to know. Huh? <laughs> All right, Unless well, you come to America. on that note, we're going to leave on that, and we're going to help you have a water, but <laughs> Nick has nothing left. I finished. <laughs> Tell me that you find a little bit of luxury. In otherwise ordinary life. Yay! <laughs> the owl's out! If you are ready and able to whiskey, be sure to drop a comment below. Hit those like and subscribe buttons, and press notifications. Also, follow Keeping It Neat on Instagram. Thanks for watching, kinfolk.